Pop Entertainment. I'm Rachel from Pop Entertainment, and today I'm here with KTO. How have you guys been doing? Like, I think we talked to you in February. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, it's it's been awesome, man. It's been very busy. Um, we have two more shows on the Demi tour. Uh, bittersweet, but excited to get back home. We start recording the next record uh, pretty much when we get back. So we're ready for new music and um, excited for us to come. So, how has touring with Demi been? Like, you just finished your other headlining tour, right? Mm -hmm. How has all of it? Yeah, the Demi tour has been awesome, man. Just performing in these, in these great arenas and, uh, you know, sharing the stage every night with some great artists is really cool. And, you know, reaching out to some new fans who probably haven't heard about us. And, uh, you know, that's one of the awesome things. And when you see people with MKTO shirts, it lets you know that, you know, you got a couple people here, too. So, it's just good to play music every night. So, the venues you are playing are huge. Like, yeah. what does it feel like to be playing like stadiums and like big I mean, arenas. The thing that's crazy about it is we kind of got a hint of this when we did a lot of radio shows to begin mm -hmm. with and you'd have like, you know, all your favorite bands and one kind of thing. So to be able to do a tour and to kind of have that be a consistent thing for, you know, over a month is definitely awesome. So we've had a blast. It's uh, It's been also a learning process in a lot of ways because, you know, when you go from performing House of Blues, you know, there's, there's a big difference when it comes to listening, like what you can hear, like in mm -hmm. your ears. So when you take them out in these kind of arenas, you're not going to hear anything. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's it's a very important thing that we've been learning a lot, and um, yeah, excited for uh, excited for what's next. That is so great. So what do you have like coming up in the next year? Like what do you plan to accomplish? Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I'll definitely get this next year. Uh, <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, become president. Yeah. Just in a year, we'll see what happens. I think it's pretty possible. Okay, so your fans are so amazing. Like Aww. when we tweeted about us doing an interview, we got like got blown up with like fan questions. You guys rock. Yeah. Yes. So I how has like how has gaining your fans like changed your life? I mean, it's allowed us to be able to do something we've always wanted to do. You know, um, I think anybody that's in this business knows the only reason we get to do what we love to do is because of people out there mm -hmm. supporting it and buying the music. So. Um, it's just been awesome, you know, to be able to go to, uh, even, you know, we've been all over, but I mean, to even go to certain places you haven't been before and just meet everybody is so awesome. And we're doing meet and greets on this tour, which is fun and getting to see people is what we, uh, really enjoy. So it's been nice meeting, uh, some of the MKTO army, they call themselves. They bring awesome gifts sometimes. Yes. Like, rock, What's the best gift you've ever gotten? Oh man. Um, there's a lot of great artists out there and yes. we've gotten a lot of portraits, like, done of us and it's it's incredible oh like gosh. how realistic it looks and uh and then like from that to shirts that are designed our faces on it's just it's been awesome uh somebody got me a hat that says great and it's just my favorite so. and then the star a girl yesterday got a star yeah. she named a star after you ktio you can yeah, get a star yeah. You, can, yeah you can get a star have you get seen her walk to remember and... no i don't think oh, i have yeah, I watched uh, eight, by, eight by zero star in that it's oh. really cute it's cool okay yeah. So, how did you guys start out in music? Like, did, were you always in music? You guys, some, someone was in Lost? Yes, yeah, he, was, he was in Lost. Oh, I thought oh, you no, were. It wasn't oh, me. I'm so confused <laughs> now. No, it's awkward. It's awkward. No, uh, he, was in, uh, he was in Lost. And, uh, and what do we mean? The ironic part is, is, is I played Walt on the show we met, and you played Walt in Lost. That was crazy. We played Best Friends. Um, the show was cool. <laughs> I mean, it was it, it was kind of one of those things where like it was it was a cool idea. I I, I think we all kind of realized <laughs> after the first season. I don't know if this is gonna work, <laughs> but I mean, it led us to meeting each other. Yes. And uh, and you know, Good obviously, times. only one season of it went, but it was an awesome experience. Um, and we just kind of stayed in touch. You know, every time after we filmed, we'd always go home. We'd we'd race home in our cars. <laughs> <laughs> so you get home first very bad don't don't speed but we would definitely speed after after the set ride home um most likely order some food and, and record music till like 4 a.m so we just always love doing mm -hmm. it and when we uh saw an opportunity to possibly you know take this a step further you know we told ourselves we're either going to commit to this 100 percent we're not going to do it at all so it's always been bigger than us and it's just something we've always wanted to do so we uh yeah we, we took the opportunity like, yes, 
Who has been your guys' inspiration, like, in music and life and acting? Mm. Oh, man, man. There's a lot of great people. You know, Michael Jackson, Pamela Prince, Pamela Anderson, Motivation. Uh, <laughs> who else? Um, there's a, <laughs> just music in general, life. And, you know, that's kind of what we say our songs are like stories. You know, we just mm-hmm. like to tell stories yeah. and make them relatable to people. Talking about heartbreaks and talking about finding that right girl. And uh, just having a good time at the end of the day as well. We like to, we like to party. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, well, what are some of the other things? On there with the middle right, of the hammer. You know, you know, yeah. All Anything. types of music. Yeah. Like you should listen to every type of music. That's, just, that's your job as a musician. It's like a library. Is she going to read one genre of book yeah. or one book? She's going to try to read as much as she can. So, to yeah. return. Okay, can you tell me something about you guys like your fans wouldn't know? Oh, I just thought of this last night, too. <laughs> Tony? Mmm. 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 I'm sure he has a good one. Let's go. No, I don't, I don't know if it's coming, though. I'm trying to think of it, though. Do you have anything? I don't. Uh, that you guys don't know? Um, this is always the hardest question. I know. Yeah, I can always think. I just can't think of it. Uh, um, they know everything. No, there's some <laughs> stuff they don't know, which yeah, is some yeah. stuff they shouldn't. But, <laughs> um, um, I, 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 I mean, I always... I haven't found a good one lately, but I usually need a sleeping mask to sleep. Because when it comes to, like, schedules and, like, you're always in a different place with a different time hour, it's very important to have, like, a sleep mask so you don't even know what time it is. Mm-hmm. But every time I wake up, I find it off my face, so I don't know Yeah, if that's how works. they work. Like, you if you, I mean? like, turn, they fall off. They it's, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't very sturdy. Yeah, I don't know. I'll go with that. You too? You both sleep have mask. sleeping we masks? Sleep masks. I really do, though. If you ever see us on a plane, you know, 100% <laughs> of the time, you'll see us with that on. Okay, so like I said, we have a ton of fan questions, so yeah. we're gonna start going through them. So, classic MKTO wants in now. <laughs> yeah. Describe. <laughs> describe. Army style. Yeah. Describe each each of each other in like one word. What would you What would you say? Oh, my bro, man, my brother right here. You know. That's, 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 that's the same thing. I thought I thought suave. Is suave, you know what I mean? Like a like a gentleman swag, you know what I mean? Is that what is that right? Swap? Can you do the best impression of each other? Sub is not. How's it going? Yeah. I fail. Okay. We're bad at doing each other. If you had to retire tomorrow, what would you do? Yeah, that would suck. Like while retiring or on I think, retirement? Yeah, I think during well, retirement. Okay, during retirement. Well, I got a number figure in my head. I, I'm not close to hitting it. Then I'd be able to do what I want, but right. hypothetically? Mm. Let's just say you're there, so what would you do? Let's say there. I, I'd probably go and get a house in Italy. Oh, Live there for a year. Or, you know, just have a house there. Just go whenever I please. I would say get a yacht and travel the seas, but that's kind of scary, you know, yeah, after a little while. So maybe not. Get Captain Phillips. Yeah. I'm not the captain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You live so, on awkward moments. Uh. <laughs> what is your greatest fan experience? Like, have you had like a like a gift or something like that's like really memorable? Is this great fan experiences or really weird fan experiences? Great fan experiences, huh? We could do a weird too. That would. I mean, it's just there's 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 there, there's sometimes you meet you meet, especially on this tour. We've met a lot of interesting. We met awesome people, and then we met sometimes people who. You, I don't understand why anybody does this, but but please don't do this. So. We meet, we meet someone, and it kind of like to us because we're more nervous than anything like mm-hmm. to meet everybody. But they'll be there. They'll be a, kind of the character that's like you know really quiet and kind of acts like they don't want to be there. Mm-hmm. And then the moment they walk away, they're tweeting like, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god!" Like, I'm, like we want to talk to you there. And I feel like sometimes you know, yeah, you know, they're it nervous. Weird. It gets weird and nervous. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a weird. I don't really know what the heck I'm talking about. But uh, <laughs> but the best fan experiences have been just um, heck, just people you know coming up to us and saying. 
a song saved their life or, or we saved their life um, it's that's that probably hits the most to your heart and uh, it's a beautiful thing about music you know it's, it's yeah. a powerful thing it's one of the most powerful drugs out there and uh, I think when it's used properly it can be a, an effective tool yeah we love everybody though. and for the last question do you have a message for your fans and supporters man Thank one, you so much. yes one thing we always say is uh, there's always going to be the uh well, right now, I'm sure they're still called haters. I'm sure they get a new name. There could be a lot of other names I could say, but I don't want to cuss. But uh, there's always going to be people that are telling you you can't do something. I think if we can say anything to anyone, it was the fact that a lot of people told us we couldn't do this. And um, we gave them the finger and we did it. And then we came out with thank you. So follow your dreams, as cheesy as that sounds. And we can't wait to see you on the road. We love you. Which will be very soon, I'm sure. Once again, I am Rachel from Pop Entertainment. Pop Entertainment. Thanks oh, for watching. Good jingle.